at 32 feet, six inches long, roughly 6,300 pounds dry, but can sleep seven to eight people. There's no wonder why this Heartland Pioneer BH270 is one of the most popular bunkhouses on the market. And let's go check it out. What's happening? Chris Young hanging out in the bunk area of the all new Heartland Pioneer BH270. Over here in the rear off camp side, we have these round edged double over double bunks, 200 pound max capacity on both. And you'll notice we got those teddy bear bunk series style mattresses. Oh, what we got under here? Look at all this stuff. Look at all this paneling. Okay, everything's put together. Plush and comfortable and ready for you to have a good night's sleep, whether it be the adults, the kids, whatever. And you even have the hideaway ladder to help them go up and down. The only thing I'm not a fan of is how thin these ladders are. I mean, they're, look, the same width as my foot. So you just gotta be careful. Great for the kids. Uh, you also have on this one, the Advent AC control system. This controls your 13.5 BTU AC, your 30,000 BTU heater, all from this handy dandy little control panel right here. On the camp side, we have the bathroom that has its own separate access point. I'm a fan of these because if you are bringing the kids, you are bringing the dogs, you got a place to clean everybody up, especially in this single tub shower surround like we have right here, without tracking all that dirt and debris throughout the rest of your coach. Corner notches right here for my soaps. I'm not cramped and I'm 6'2", so I'm almost at the top here uh, of you know the shower, but I'm not cramped left or right or up or down. Plus, like I mentioned, we got the tubs around. Got your little shower curtain right there. High rise plastic bowl with the foot flush. Corner mounted single basin sink. I like the decorative topper that they've put on everything here. Plus I got the GFCI outlet and my corner mounted medicine cabinet right there. Solid wood construction, shaker style cabinets. You're gonna find that all throughout the Heartland Pioneers. They've really updated the look for this year, really brightened it up, you know, made the decor kind of this lightish, almost gray brown type of wood. Gone is that dark brown look. Now it's more rustic. You feel like you're in your own little vacation cabin. You got the matte black features all the way around as well. Good space for either pantry or ward fuse box right there. Plus you got the eight cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer combo that also has the chalkboard on it. Great little additional feature if the kids wanna, you know, draw some stuff on there. If it's raining outside, it gives them yet another activity they can do. But if you need to leave notes, you know, hey honey, go into the store, whatever, gives you a chance to keep that organization going. You do have the automatic switch on this one as well. It's both gas and electric. Good freezer space, good fridge space for those nice long weekend getaways. Now, this is where I'm talking about doing the reconnecting right here. Look at the decorative style and facing that we have on top of the table here. Plush and comfortable, plus the cushions are this light gray. So they're a little bit darker. You won't show wear and tear as much and it won't show uh, stains as much either. Surrounded by some of the biggest in-class windows I've seen in a travel trailer, very nice touch, plus wood balances and the little blackout shades. Uh, these are great for sleeping as well because this reduces down into a bed. Plus you got storage underneath both sides here. Then, hey, if it's just you, you say, Chris, this is all nice and good, but it's a couple's coach too. Yeah, absolutely. Thick, comfortable jackknife sofa here with the fold down middle seat that or middle back that also has the cup holders there. You could watch the TV from the entertainment center, which we're gonna get to here in just a minute, or you could just watch the sunrise, watch the sunset. Enjoy the cross breeze that's taking place inside your Heartland Pioneer, because this is where you can make those memories, make those moments, all in a beautiful rustic decor RV. And it's carpetless. I'm a fan of that. Carpet's hard to clean. Get those little crumbs and stuff all stuck in there from them kids that don't know how to put food in their mouth. Just not fun. Master Chef inspired kitchen over here on the campsite too. Solid surface countertop, 50-50 stainless steel undermounted sink with the high rise faucet and large window on the campsite. Plus I got my suburban three burner cooktop with glass cover and oven. Nice little 16 incher right there. Plus you got the Greystone microwave 
the frosted glass inlay here on my storage cabinets up above. And I wanted you to hear what the AC would sound like when it's running. This is a 13.5 BTU Advent AC. Now it does have three quick cool dumps on it as well. So when I have those open, that's about how loud it is. But when they're closed, it goes through the ducting. And here, you know, it's, it's about conversation, loud. You also have filters inside here that you can just push these open, take them down and replace. Nice little touch here is the entertainment center and mini mudroom. TV backer with cable and satellite connection as well as 110. Plus they got me a storage shelf up here. I think this would be more decorative than anything. Plants, uh, you know, Ric Flair and Dusty Rhodes figurines. Plus they got a component shelf there and there. My IRV Technologies AM FM command center that is Bluetooth, AM FM, plus you got the USB and HDMI. And you got yourself a little storage space down there. Not very wide, but at least you have, you know, something you could close in, maybe muddy shoes or, you know, whatever, games, board games, uh, cans of soup. You can put them in there. Here, we got a little mudroom storage. You can see how me and Bobby look inside there. Wave to the people, Bobby. Okay, now get out. And you got the hangers here for your coats, as well as a little bench seat right there. Come over here towards the main entry point. This is where you can run the slide and the awning out as well as cut on your lights. And you got your convenience center as well as the power for your pre-wired WineGuard 4G LTE extension, uh, which is a really nice additional service to get. Solid pocket door right here, separating the master from the rest of the coach. And you got a queen size 60 by 80 bed right here with some storage underneath. <clears throat> And if you'll notice, the wards on both sides have side access to them. So in case you got a CPAP machine or something like that, you can easily get to it with LED light, 110 and ward storage on both sides, plus actual privacy shades over here on the, the, the windows. That's a nice touch as opposed to just the blackout shades. Pretty cool little features. All in all, it's an entry level family bunkhouse that has upgraded features well built, good insulation, solid, sturdy. I can't say anything bad about the Harlan Pioneers. We've seen the inside of the BH270. Let's go take a look at the outside. So here we are on the outside of the all new Harlan Pioneer BH270. Gonna start right up front. You got that hybrid aluminum profile in the front, plus the seamless Superflex roof going all the way over the top. Diamond plated rock guard, all seated on top of a single welded aluminum frame. Got your battery boxes, rails right there, twin 20 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack because with your Heartland Pioneer, you do get the power pack or the juice pack system. You'll notice we also have the PSX1 stabilizer jacks. Got your controls for those right here. And here on the campsite, we have finished off pass through storage. Now they have King Kong size storage now. You can get up to 52 cubic feet of storage inside your Pioneer. And if you notice, it goes all the way to the edge of the lip. It's not just cut off right here. Finished off with the ac accent light, I like that. Plastic clip covering up my storage door, which is also uh, anti-slam and has the covered hinge. You also have the adjustable pitch on the Solera awning here. Sealed safety windows that's tinted all the way around this coach and a heated and enclosed underbelly. Plus solid steps leading into the main entry point and double axle on this RV as well. You got those steel rims with the nitro filled tires, the Dexter Easy Lube axles with your fresh water fill, cable connection and power in case you want to set up some outside entertainment. Back of the furnace, back of the fridge. There's your rear stab jacks as well as your rear access point. The other thing that I'm a fan of, especially for storage, you get the tailgate system that comes with your Heartland Pioneer. Great for putting the coolers, the bikes, whatever on there. Just a, nan just a handy dandy nifty little addition. Got the 4x4 sewer hose storage, cable connection, arched ceiling and rain nozzles to keep the weather off, plus the backup camera there. External shower with hot and cold. Now, the bathroom has its own access point which I'm a fan of, but having this even more of a fan, because if you're really dirty, like Bob dirty, you can clean yourself up out here before going back inside. 30 amp plug right there. 
and all your gray tanks. Now, your, your tank sizes on this one, you got 41, 40, 40. 41 gallon fresh, 41 gallon gray, 41 gallon black tank. Right there is your slide. Housing that jackknife sofa and that booth dinette, that big old booth dinette. The other side of your pass-through storage right here. Once again, with that door, anti-slam and covered hand so you don't get those rush streaks going down the side of the door. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. Now we're roughly 6,300 pounds dry. I think it's like 6,354. Gross vehicle weight on this one, 7,700 pounds. And you're looking at 32 feet, six inches long. Can sleep seven to eight comfortably. Uh, this is an entry level RV that if, if you're a family that's looking for something like that, I gotta tell you, man, you, check out the Heartland Pioneers, but take that information to your specialist at Camping Warden Gander and say, hey, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I want to sleep, and here's where we're going to go camping. Is this what's right for me? With that information, we'll help you find the one that's right for you. But entry-level bunk, try this one out. Just take a look at it. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like, what you didn't like, because we love hearing from you. And while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we get a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping Warden Gander. Thank you for spending time with me today. Hope you enjoyed the BH270 by Pioneer. I'll see you soon. Until then, come check out the RV.